Hi, this is Billy Bean here with another segment of Bible by Billy Bean. Today's date, uh, September 6, 2022, new. This is a new YouTube for me. I have a YouTube subscribe button in the lower right corner of my screen. Thanks for like, subscribe, and share. Episode 84, entitled Song of the Steadfast. We know this was from Psalms, and King David was a musician warrior. It's from the Passion Translation, Psalms 11. Now we find in Psalms 11, verse 4, we have a contrast between what can be shaken and what is unshakable which is what we desire to be, unshakable, steady in the Lord. And in verse 5, God hates individuals who practice violence. And an example given and alluded to is Saul, who killed... Um, 85 priests, their wives, and their children. 1 Samuel 22, verses 17 to 19. And we know that God eventually removed Saul from being king and replaced him with David, whom God said was a man after his own heart. So now the reading of the Passion Translation, Psalms 11. Song of the Steadfast. For the Pure and Shining One by King David. Lord, don't you hear what my well-meaning friends keep saying to me? Run away while you can. Fly away like a bird to hide in the mountains for safety. For your enemies have prepared a trap for you. They plan to destroy you with their slander and deceitful lies. Can't you see them hiding in their place of darkness and shadows? They're set against you and all those who live upright lives. But don't they know, Lord, that I have made you my only hiding place? Don't they know that I always trust in you? What can the righteous accomplish when truth pillars are destroyed and law and order collapse? Yet the eternal one is never shaken. He is still found in his temple and of holiness, reigning as Lord and King over all. He is closely watching everything that happens. And with a glance, his eyes examine every heart. For his heavenly rule will prevail over all. He will test both the righteous and the wicked, exposing each heart. God's very soul detests those who love to resort to violence. He will rain down upon them judgment for their sins. A scorching wind will be their portion and lot in life. But remember this, the righteous Lord loves what is right and just, and every godly one will come into his presence and gaze upon his face. And we say, thank you, Lord. And now a short prayer. This is the modified prayer of General Patton from World War II. God loves the prayers of military people. Father, grant us fair weather. Arm your soldiers with your power. Guide us from victory to victory. Crush our enemies. 
And we thank you, Father, Son, Jesus, who many call Yeshua and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I say to my family and friends out there, remain steady. Continue to pray. God is in charge, and he is on the move. I love you, and I'll see you soon.